We have a problem, but this time it's not a business problem. You know I've built a lot of AI solution prototypes. For example, a traffic camera with Sigfox, a stamp analyzer for a large bank, and a drone-based sports analyzer. Now those were all based on actual customer requirements, but now our problem is not coming from a customer. Now we have a very cute problem. Do you want to see it? The problem's name is Oreo, or at least that's what we are calling him. Oreo is a small street cat who has started coming to our house recently. He's very scared and very hungry, so we have started feeding him. We think he may be abandoned. But sometimes we are not there at the house, so Oreo comes around and he's waiting in vain and he's disappointed. That's quite heartbreaking. So I was thinking, could we use AI and Google Cloud to let me know when Oreo is there? So the goal for this solution would be for me to get a message on my phone when Oreo arrives with a picture of him waiting there. So, let's build this today. So how could we build an Edge AI pet cam? Well, let's see how we could turn our home to a smart home and add animal object detection. So what do we need? First we need an object to detect, that's Oreo the cat. <laughs> and then we need something that can see the object, so we need a camera. We can use pretty much any camera, I will just use a simple webcam here. And then we need to analyze the camera feed, the images, in real time with a machine learning model. So I will use the Coral development board that has the Google Edge TPU machine learning accelerator. So we can run a machine learning model on the Edge TPU that analyzes the camera feed and detects if, if Oreo is there. And if Oreo is there, we can then transmit this semantic information Oreo has been detected to Google Cloud and deliver the message to my phone, including a picture of Oreo there. Then we need a machine learning model to run on the Edge TPU that can detect cats. Luckily, recently, Coral released a new object detection model called MobileDead SSD Lite. And as we can see here on the GitHub page, it seems to be able to detect cats. So that's good. So let's download this model and give it a try. I filmed a short video of Oreo as a test footage with my phone. There he is on the ports, quite happy after eating some food. So now let's see what happens if we process this video with the MobileDead SSD Lite model running on the Edge TPU. So on the development board, let me start the client app with that video as the source data. So let's see what happens. So we load the model and there we go. There's Oreo. We have a confidence score, 60, 70 something percent. It's a cat, that's the detected label. And the green bounding box signifies the coordinates around the detected object. Okay, this seems to work. Step one is okay. Now let's take a quick look at the client side code running on the Coral Dev board. It's in Python. And I will just show you the very main idea of the code. Well, first of all, I use OpenCV to start capturing the webcam images. And then we basically just pass the webcam feed to the Google Edge TPU, where we have the MobileDead SSD Lite model loaded. And then we get back the inference results, including the detected objects, hopefully detected Oreo. And then I have some logic here. If there was no cat previously in the image, but now there is a cat, that's a delta, that's a change, Oreo has arrived. I would like to be notified that Oreo has arrived. So in that case, we take an image of Oreo using the bounding box coordinates of the object, Oreo, and then I transmit with IoT Core Service some text, I am here, and I transmit the image to IoT Core as well, the selected best cropped image. And then on the Google Cloud side, here in the IoT Core Service, I have configured a registry called House, <laughs> and a device, this device, and I've given it the name Coral Petcam. And then if those devices send data, telemetry data like Oreo detected, IoT Core Service will forward that data to a pub sub topic called House Data. And that's here. So then we can subscribe to this pub sub topic 
when we get messages like Oreo arriving or going away. But then I need a method of delivering messages to my phone. Ah, yes, of course. In the ice cream delivery box episode earlier, I used Google Chat and webhooks to post messages to a chat room that were delivered to the chat application on my phone. So let's just steal and reuse my old code from there and modify that a little bit. And here in Google Chat, I have created a room called AI Petcam. And then you need to add a webhook. So you configure a webhook and the system will generate a webhook URL for you. You can copy that to the clipboard. And then on the client side code where you are posting messages to this room, you will use this webhook URL. So let's add this URL to our Cloud Function next. So here in Cloud Functions, we have a new function that is triggered by any message in the Cloud Pub subtopic called house data. So this is where the Coral device will post messages to IoT Core, and IoT Core will drop them here in this Pub subtopic. And those messages will then trigger the execution of this function. Then the function has environment variables. Firstly, it has a Google Cloud Storage bucket called Coral AI Cam IoT in this case. This bucket is where the function can store any images that the camera has sent, like images of Oreo. And then secondly, the function has a webhook URL that's coming from our chat room. So it's telling the function where to post any messages to the chat room. And then the source code of the function is very simple. There is a post message function, simply posting to that webhook URL the text body that we received from IoT Core. And if there is an image attached to that message, then we simply upload it to that Google Cloud Storage bucket. Now let's put this system to the test. I will place the webcam and the coral board on the floor so that they can see the terrace. And now the moment of truth. Let's run inference on the webcam feed. So let's see what happened. So we load the model. There's the terrace. Oh, and somebody's coming. I think I see Oreo. Oreo is on his way. And if you look at the console output here, we can see it says Oreo arrived, transmitting message. And in the chat room on the right, you can see Oreo saying, I am here. There we go. And let's see what happens if Oreo leaves. So I have another recording where Oreo left. Same thing, now Oreo is there, Oreo is happily eating. He is there. And then he starts walking away. He is leaving the scene. Oreo has left. If you look at the console window, it will say Oreo left, transmitting a message. And in the chat room we can see bye bye. And also on my phone here, we can see the same message. Okay, now our AI cam will tell us when Oreo arrives and we can see him. And if we are not there, we also built him a little house so that he can wait under some shelter. But how can we feed Oreo if we are not there? Well, that's another problem that requires another solution and that's another episode. So please stay tuned and until then, I really hope that you enjoyed this one. See you soon and bye bye.